Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy, El Mega Nerd here, and today in this video we're going to be talking about some rumors that came out overnight about a potential of a mod Advanced Warfare 2. Jesus. Now, uh, so this article by a credible leaker named Ralph Valve uh, basically came out stating that um, as we edge further towards the launch of Modern Warfare 2 and the introduction to Call of Duty 2.0, some questions remain unanswered of the future of Call of Duty. Sledgehammer Games aims to strip away from the World War shooters and instead return to the battlegrounds of the future. Basically meaning that in their future games that Sledgehammer is going to be looking for uh, your, your more futuristic type games instead of their World War shooters that they're typically known for, right? Because you have Sledgehammer Games who are typically known for their uh, World War shooters. You have uh, Infinity Word who are typically known for their modern day shooters. And then you have Treyarch, which is like a mixture of like both past and semi-future. You know, like 80s to the 20th or the 20th. Um, so... It would make sense considering that in 2017, when Sledgehammer uh, came out with their uh, World War II game, that was not really well received, even though in my opinion, and some people out there, that game was pretty good. Um, and then again in 2021, when Vanguard came out, that was clearly not well received by the by the COD community, which would understandably make uh, Sledgehammer realize, okay, you know what, maybe we beat the horse, you know, beat, beat the horse with the stick too many times. Uh, maybe we need to branch out and do a different era, right? That would make sense, right? Because if they tried to do a sequel to Vanguard or another uh, World War II game, it just would not go very well. It would probably perform and give out the same numbers as Vanguard did when it launched. Um, so that would not go very that would not go over very well with the executives. So returning having Sledgehammer return to a futuristic type thing would make sense, and I can see that for the foreseeable future. You know of um, you know having this thing where you know uh, Infinity Ward does their own kind of style games, Treyarch does their own, and then you have Sledgehammer doing kind of like your futuristic type stuff. Like I can see that happening, right? Um, especially because like you know for for Warzone, right? Uh, eventually, at some point, they're going to need to do something to kind of spice it up a little bit, add some new things to it, right? And the only way, only way for it to go is potentially to the future, right? So it would make sense to, for one of these dev studios to start making some futuristic type games so that they can start kind of integrating that into Warzone a bit, right? Um, so, however... If you go over to Twitter to Charlie Intel, most of you guys know who Charlie Intel is, but in case you don't know, uh, they are a credible leaker, just like Ralph Valve. However, their particular take on this is, I have heard that there is no Advanced Warfare 2 currently in development at Sledgehammer Games, despite the rumors today. Not fully clear yet what Sledgehammer Games is currently working on. Now, um, so you have one credible leaker saying, uh, that Sledgehammer Games is, and you have another one, you know, Charlie Intel saying that there isn't, right? We don't know. This is all just rumors. This is all, you know, taken with a grain of salt here. You know, it either could, it either could not, right? Who knows, right? Uh, you know, if they were to go back to it, right, when, when Advanced Warfare launched, that was their first jetpack game for a Call of Duty, right? So the uh, that was probably out of the jetpack games, that was probably the worst movement in terms of like the jetpacks that we've seen right um however they've learned a lot since then so if they were to make a pre a sequel to advanced warfare who knows maybe it would be better maybe it would be not you know they have learned a lot of things since then so you would hope that maybe they would have you know if they were to do that it would be a lot better right but again we just don't know okay because keep in mind right sledgehammer is not on the chopping block to make another game until 2025 so we've got some you know some some time here um for uh you know to see like what game they're actually going to make what game uh, they're planning on making, you know, all, all this other stuff. We have time, right? So right now it's like super early, right? And again, this is why it's just a rumor and why I strongly recommend anything you hear, you take it with a grain of salt because anything can change, right? Like, for instance, tomorrow they could come out and be like, yeah, we're going to make like another futuristic title, right? Who knows? Who knows what could happen, right? Because it's in the future. So who knows? Um, so that's why right now, just take it with a grain of salt. This is kind of going to be a short video here because that's kind of all the news that we have on this as of the moment um but let me guys know down in the comment section what do you guys think do you guys think the sledgehammer games is going to be working on a futuristic title and if they are uh would you 
like to see a return to the jetpack era or are you much preferred to be boots on the ground? Let me know down in the comment section. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. I post Call of Duty videos regularly and I'll catch you guys next time. Ah, ah, ting, ting, walla, walla, bing, bang, ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, ting, walla, walla.